that we don't quit when things get tough whether it's in the area that you're serving in whether it's in your giving because you took a hit on your finances whether it's in serving God because something happened and you're upset whatever it might be your prayer hasn't been answered maybe it has you just don't realize it has been answered or you don't know God's Come working on. behind the scenes Come on. you know God never just leaves us out here floundering alone but listen that we're not going to be people that just give up Oh, well, forget it. It doesn't work. No, we're going to stick to something till Amen. we get there. Woo, Amen. Amen. I said, how many of y'all came ready to praise God? If you brought your hands, I want you to go like this. There you go. If you brought your voice, I want you to give a shout. I want you to help us with our hands like this. And lift your voice and sing it with us. Are you ready to give God praise? Here we go. You call my name. Lift it up. Out of the darkness into your glorious day. I think y'all got it this morning. Amen. I think y'all got it this morning. Amen. Put your hands together. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb till I met you. I was breathing, but not.
stand ready, cornerstone stand steady. The dark, it gets heavy. The light, hey, there's plenty. The tomb was found empty. This church remains deadly to the enemy. He's nothing. My God is amazing. Gave a vision, that's our mission. A picture of grace, the transformation is beginning. So help us reach so you can rescue, man. I love my church. Help us reach so you can rescue, man. I love my church. Go. We were called to be the light in the dark. The light of my Hey, thanks for joining us here at Rescue Church. We believe we're here to reach and rescue people with the love of God. If you ever have any questions or you want to know more about us, go to rescuechurch.org. And we'd love for you to stay connected by downloading the Rescue Church app. And also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you get notified anytime we post something new. Well, with that being said, here's this week's newest message. Let me tell you, oh my friends, about this joy I'm living in. Let me take the mic, go on and testify how I was dead and then I came to life. No more living in the dark of night. No, everything's alright. I've been changed. Our hands. God let us in on what He's doing here, and we're sticking with it. Amen. This ain't right. I've been My God truly is a way maker. He is a miracle maker and he is a chain breaker. Come on somebody, amen. Has anybody been set free by the power of Jesus Christ? Come on. I've been changed.
serve an amazing God who's done some amazing things. And I tell you, you can't help but watch that and be touched. I'm telling you, if you didn't get touched, I'm telling you, you check your pulse. Make sure you're alive. Because I'm telling you, man, God is touched. I'm telling you, in different age groups, too. Isn't that amazing to see the, the little ones just, just loving on Jesus? Amen. Come on, that's just so powerful. Well, what I want you guys to do just for a moment, just for a moment, if you could just remain standing just for a moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask the ushers, if you could at this time, they're going to pass out the annual reports. These are our annual reports, and when you get one, you can be seated. That way we make sure everybody gets one. So once y'all get one, y'all go ahead and, and be seated, and then we're going to get into some stuff. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Tell the person next to you it's going to be good. We are just always so amazed at just God's goodness. You know, sometimes we get so busy through the year. You know, the year went by, and sometimes you forget all the different things that God did, you know. And it's like so good to be reminded. Amen. So good to be reminded. We have so much to be grateful for. We do. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, what we're going to do, guys, is uh, I just got to share something with you guys up front. We have a lot to talk about. I mean, there's so much to talk about. That's why you heard my wife go through the announcements like, <laughs> she was going so fast and just trying to go so quick. Because really what we have to share, really, it's so much to, to we're going to uh, do our best to compress it, uh, to condense it. Um, but there's just certain things you don't want to rush. And so we wanted to make sure we had enough time to talk about some of the things that the new things God's going to do at Rescue Church. And um, we just we just didn't want to rush it. And so we're going to do our best um, to try to get this out with some clarity. Um, but I know, I know this, I know this from bottom heart, I know what needs to be said will be said. And uh, I know you guys are going to be blessed by the new things God's going to do here at Rescue Church. But before, before we get started, can y'all go give the Lord a little praise? Come on, he's really that good. And one of the things we like to do is, is we're going to start with some highlights in our annual report. We're going to go there first. And then from there, we're going to shift into all the new things God's going to do um, in, uh, in Rescue Church in 2019. And so uh, let's go there, honey. Why don't we start with that? Well, probably the, the main thing that got everyone so excited, that should get us so excited, should Amen. get us the most excited, Amen. is the uh, Decisions for Christ in 2018. Amen. That's what, listen, without that, we're just hanging out. That's right. That's exactly right. We're not here just to hang out. We're here to to learn and grow and promote life change. Amen. And so you can see there on the Decisions for Christ in 2018, you know, over 1,350 people, 1,350 people plus made Decisions for Christ. That's awesome, y'all. That's such a blessing. I'm sorry. I want to share something on this. Is that I want you guys to know this is why we do what we do. Yes. That's why it's important that we, honestly, I felt like we needed to start with this because how many of you guys know it's all it's all about uh, advancing the kingdom of God? And one of, part of the Great Commission, how many of you guys know it's for us? Uh, we're supposed to populate heaven while we're still on earth. And, and, and how many of you guys know that's winning souls for Jesus? Amen. Amen. And listen to me, for, for Wharton to have 1350 plus in a year, let me tell you something. God's hand's on that. Can I get an amen? God's hand is on amen. that. Amen. Amen. So, man, we're so grateful. And listen, when you serve here, when you give here, uh, you give of your monies, you give of your time, you give of your love, this is what it goes to. You know, there's somebody in, in, in here that had lost hope, and they found hope. Somebody that thought that life was never going to get better, and it got better. That, that their marriage would, could never be healed. You know, that those certain people in their family they were praying for would never come to Christ. And let me tell you, that's not true. Because these, these numbers, why do we write numbers? Numbers are important because they're not just numbers. They represent people. Amen. And so we're so grateful for God doing that. And so, whoo, I just want to jump around. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Y'all give the Lord another praise. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, also, if you'll turn to a, a page over, go uh, and you'll see on the right hand side the Connect Groups page. We had 91 people sign up to join Connect Group in wow. 2018. Wow. I mean, like that. 
We had 91 people. We have six connect groups uh, in three cities, Wharton, El Campo, and Bay City. Woo! On, Go Jesus! And so thank you to all of you who said yes to being Connect Group uh, leaders, hosting a, a Connect Group. Thank you so much for doing that because this it's, it's making a difference. People coming together, doing life together, just show, sharing love together. It makes a difference in our life. We weren't meant to run this race alone, guys. And so Connect Groups are so important. Uh, go to and the... Real quick, go ahead, before love. we go, move forward. Real quick, I want you guys to know, listen to me, this, that Connect Groups is, wasn't just a good idea. And I know it's still, it's still honestly, in, in 91 people signing up is it, actually, that's proof. That's fruit, in a sense, of sharing. That wasn't a good idea, that was a God idea. Yes. And so I want you to know that. And so listen to me, it, it, and listen to me, we've just started. And we're still making tweaks. How many guys know little tweaks take you to higher peaks? And still so making the little tweaks. And listen to me, we're actually got some new ideas for this in 2019 that's even going to help it, um, I believe, grow and become more, more fruitful. Uh-huh. Amen. And more effective. But more fruitful. I think we're seeing more fruit in the lives of people. Because how many of you guys know the goal is to bear fruit? Come on. Can I, we don't want to just say we're Christians. How many of you guys know we want fruit yes. in our lives amen. That, that show that we're Christians? Can I get another amen? amen. And so real quick, I want to say thank you for, to all the Connect Group leaders yes. who helped make this possible. Can y'all give Amen. them a hand? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank that was good, honey. Yes, Amen. it wasn't Amen. just a good idea. It was a God idea. Amen. Let me tell you why. God saw the need. Amen. God saw there was a need for people. And I'm telling you, like you said, the, the people signing up, 91 people signing up is proof definitely that there was that need there. So thank you, Jesus. Uh, we're going to turn the page to uh, the next page is Life Change page. And you can see there, we've we're you know we just we just turned six years old, uh, five months Amen. ago, Woo, and in our on. first six years we had 521 new members join Rescue Church. Wow. Come on, God is good. Amen. 224 little lives dedicated to the Lord. Our cute. Amen. That's a lot of babies. Amen. Amen. A lot of potential. Amen. And 332 baptisms Woo, that is so good y'all give the lord a praise Ooh, for that he is so good let's look at media love you talk about media. yeah i, I want to just real quick get on the next page here where it says wretched church media i'm just i want to highlight just one thing one thing though all of it is amazing uh i want y'all to look at you got to remember we started september 2nd we started uh live stream we did a test the week before but we actually started september the 2nd And we've had 8,628 views, live stream views. Just, this is four months. That many people online, people watching right now online, online, watching. And listen to me, that's a whole nother online church. Yes. And that, how many guys know live stream is helping us expand our reach? Yes. And every, listen to me, every Christian, how many guys know we should, it should be our heart's desire to expand our reach to be able to continue to reach and rescue people with God's love. And if we can expand our reach through a tool uh, called media, through a tool called live stream, how many of you guys know that's a blessing to the body of Christ? Can I get an amen? And that is amazing to have that many people that fast online. We've had people already from other uh, other uh, cities um, uh, just watching and, and tuning in and saying, hey, we're watching from here, we're watching from here. And it is so cool. So it's just not uh, the surrounding area. We're even going further. Yes. And we're reaching people all the way up north. And so isn't God good? Yes. Can I get an amen? Yeah, amen. I think amen. I saw, I don't know if it was Minnesota or I don't know where this, I forget where they were from. And they, Minnesota. you know, we started the new, you know, series on new beginnings. And they were like, yes, I'm ready for a new year, new me. I'm like, who? Oh. I was like, I haven't seen them. I thought it was somebody from our church. Well, it's not. <laughs> there was a lot of people they're excited about a new year and a new me and you know go you know to him you know preaching and get all this excitement but but it was people that are probably watching i mean obviously they're not here watching uh online yeah that's right amen amen and so if y'all can y'all can flip the page go to the 2018 highlights it's in the bottom right corner it says that I just want to, I want to point out, all this is really cool. You guys can reflect on it later. But one thing I want to point out is the average of number of volunteers each week. 
You know, we have 88 people on an average every every single week awesome. serving in this church. Amen. And I'm telling you, y'all need to go ahead and praise Woo! God for that. Thank you, Lord. And, and honestly, from your pastors, we want to say thank you. Thank you. And listen, I, I want that always in there because I believe it is a highlight. Yes. Because you're shining bright for Jesus. Amen. And it takes that many people to, to how many guys to, to reach our children, to reach our youth, to, to reach our, our little children and their little feet, and, and to reach uh, people beyond uh, in years. And so, listen to me, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for volunteering each week amen. to make all this happen. We Y'all can't give them do it without hand. you. Amen. And amen. Amen. God is so good. And so, I want you all to do something. I want you all to skip 2019 plans Wait, and love. I'm sorry, Decisions for Christ in the that? first six years, 7,829 plus. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Come on. God I have good. to say that. Amen. Amen. Okay, now you can move on, love. Amen. Amen. Now, I want y'all to skip the 2,000 plans and goals uh, for now because that is all the stuff we're about to talk about here in just a minute. And we're going to jump over to Building Forward, to the Building Forward, forward where it says, Together we're building for the future. And how many of you guys know that is what we're doing? We're yes. building for the future. Can I get an amen? Amen. One thing real quickly, I just want to share. Let's watch this. There have been over 2,000 decisions for Christ in the first six years. And impact and kids. And impact kids. Come on, God is impact so good. Impact kids. God is so good. That's God's our ages amazing. 6 through 12. Amen. Amen. So talk to them a little bit, honey, about what's next. What amen. amen. So, you know, it's so neat because uh, at Real, a couple of weeks ago, I gave the ladies as they came in a, a little package and it had three things in it it had a little chalkboard made out it was a it was, well it was representative of a chalkboard i took a black piece of construction thick construction paper and made little chalkboards it had a rubber band in there and it had a stamp and long story short those things represented that it's 2019 we get a clean slate we have a fresh slate it's up to us what we're going to do with that that's right amen that's right. Are we going to write our own story? Going to let God, you know, direct us? They all got a rubber band because in 2019, because we're going up, we, I'm not even saying if we're going to go up, Come but on. if you want to and join the rest of them, we're going up. Amen. We're going to have to let God stretch us. Amen. Woo! Come on. A rubber band is only effective if it's stretched. Amen. You and I are That's like right. rubber bands. Right. Come on. Come and on. so I told the ladies, you a rubber band. Amen. There was a song, the rubber band man. You're the rubber band <laughs> woman. And I said, I sure hope that's not a bad song because I don't know the song, but I start, that's what I thought of. You're the rubber band woman. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to be stretched this year. That means we're going to be stretched Amen. in every area, stretched in our serving, Amen. stretched in our loving, Amen. stretched in our giving, Amen. not just of our time, Come on. not just of our love, but of our money. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, stretched in, in every area. God wants, because if we're going to do more, we have to be stretched stretched That's right. you know we're not used to praying more than thank you for this food amen this you're going to be stretched not that we have to pray super long prayers but then instead of just praying once in a while here and there they're going to make it a daily thing we're going to be stretched in our giving you know giving god beyond what we've ever given being faithful this year i'm not a tither but this year i'm going to be a tither and i'm going to be a faithful tither this year i'm going to be a faithful giver of Woo, my offerings this year i'm going to be i'm going to be let god stretch me in my giving i'm not going to get that so i can give here i'm going to be stretched in my faithfulness that when i'm a woman i'm a man of my word that when i say i'll be there i'm gonna be there that's right i'm gonna be there on time i'll amen. be there ahead of time amen i'm gonna be faithful amen. in my serving so that's we we want to be stretched and then the third thing i gave them was a stamp and a stamp you stick it on a letter and it stays stuck there till it gets there and I, it represents sticking to something till you get there i tell the ladies we have to have sticker to activity if it's not a word i made it up but uh that means that we can't give up that we don't quit when things get tough whether it's in the area that you're serving in whether it's in your giving because you took a hit on your finances whether it's in serving god because something happened and you're upset whatever it might be your prayer hasn't been answered maybe it has you just don't realize it has been answered or you don't know god's come working on. behind the scenes come on you know god never just leaves us out here floundering alone but listen that we're not going to be people that just give up 
Oh, well, forget it. It doesn't work. No, we're going to stick to something till we get there. Amen. Amen. And so that's what those things represented. And so this year we need to be, let God stretch us and we need to be faithful and, 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 and stick to things till we get there. When we give, we, we make it so easy to give here. There is no excuse for us not to That's give. Right. That's right. You get text to give. You can stick it in the offering. You can stick it in the uh, uh, guest services. There's a drop box. You can online. online. Thank you, honey. All kinds of ways to give. You can set up a deal where it comes out of your, you know, uh, every week you're, or week or however you're doing it, when you get paid that you're uh, giving it online, that it's a, a frequent thing. Uh, continual thing thank you honey and so i just want to encourage y'all let god stretch you this year be faithful this year pray about what god would have you to do this year and then just do it amen you know i'm just gonna uh he has it on screen ways to give you know i want you guys to to know something that uh one of the one of the most challenging things to talk about in church is money and uh i want you guys to know this up front i'm gonna share this with you because some of you guys know people act funny when you talk about money you get into a church and you start talking about how God's going to bless you. Everybody's excited. Everybody shouts. Everybody screams. Everybody, Hallelujah. I love this. This is awesome. This is great. But when you hear the part where God says you have to sow, everybody's like, hold up. Hold up, man. Where you going with this? Hold up, man. I thought God go bless me. Yeah, he's going to bless you by, by you sowing your seed. And so how many guys know we reap what we sow? And and so we, we, we got to realize that, listen, we should be just excited. Listen to me. I, I, I can tell you this. You can tell God's done a shift in your life when you get excited about sowing. Or I could put it this way. You get just excited about uh, just excited about sowing as you do receiving. Can I get an amen? Yes. Amen. And so we get excited about the receiving part, but we should get excited when you can sow. Why? Because God gives seed to the, to sower. the sower. That's right. And as long as you sow, seed's coming right back to you. Amen. Can I get an amen? It's going to keep coming back. Keep coming back. God's going to make you. How many guys know he's going to bless you so you can be a blessing? Yes. And that's what God is doing through this church. Listen to me. He, he wants us, listen to me, to be blessed so we can be a blessing. And this impact building that we're building, listen to me, it is building for the future. And so we can reach the next generation. You're not going to reach the next generation or a new generation by doing things the old way. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And so we, we've done new things, new creative things. And why? Because, because we want you to get in on what God is doing here at Rescue Church. And God wants us to all be a part of it. And part of that, listen to me, is going to, you're going to have to get a revelation. You've got to talk to God. Say, God, what is the new thing you want yes. me to give in 2019? Because it's easy to get used to saying, I'm just doing my norm. But what, what does God say? Not your flesh. What does God say? And I'm telling you, if you will hear the voice of God, not the voice of man, hear the voice of God, and you do what God says, God, how many guys know he backs up his word? Yes. And God, I'm telling you, you will see a harvest. But that harvest isn't just for you. The harvest is also for the next generation. Yes. Can I get another amen? Amen. Amen. So we're going we're gonna to continue. We're going to continue here because and we've done good. We're watching our time because really the majority of our time is going to have to get shifted into some of the new things that God's going to do here It's in 2019. So what I want you guys to do real quickly, you can take your annual reports and you can hold on to them. You can close them up. Y'all close those up. And I'm going to shift into some stuff. But the first thing I want to share before we we dive into these new things God's doing here at Rescue Church, I want you guys to know that God gave Rescue Church a big vision so he can do big things through our church. And how many guys know that includes you? Amen. Tell the person next to you that includes you. That includes you. So that means how many guys know we must continue to build and not maintain? We must continue to build and not maintain. Yes. You're going to hear me say that a lot. We're going to continue to build, build. and not maintain. maintain. We maintain when we get comfortable. That's right. We build when we stretch. Amen. And building doesn't just mean building new buildings, though we're going to do that. It also means building lives. Come on, somebody. Y'all give the Lord a hand up in here. So that means we want to continue to build. It means we want to continue to expand our reach. And so that also means this. I've shared this with you guys before. That means we have to run after what's in front of us, not behind us. I said we have to run after what's in front of us, not behind us. Many times we're looking back, and that's why we don't move forward. We've got to look forward. 
What does the Bible say? Put your hand at the plow and don't look what? Back. Come on, I'm putting my hand at the plow and I'm not looking back. I'm grateful for the, for the things that God has done. We just showed that in the recap video. I'm so grateful for that. But I believe God has some new things in store for my life. And I believe God has some new things in store for your life. Amen. And I believe God has some new things in store for this church. Yes. Can I get an amen? Y'all give the amen. Lord a hand. So let me, let me read something. Let me read something to you. Y'all kind of know the, the foundation scripture I'm using for the series called New Beginnings. And it's Isaiah. Y'all can get to it. Isaiah 43, 18, 19. It's going to be on the screen if y'all could put that up there. And it says this. I'm just going to read it from the screen. It says this. It says, forget the former things. Remember I told you, forget the former things. Forget the form things came in. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See. How many guys know see? That's vision. Amen. Tell the person next to you, I got some vision. I've got some vision. That's vision. He says, see. How many How many y'all can see it? Amen. Amen. How many y'all can see it? Come on, can I get any? You got to have some vision. Listen to me, God wants you to have vision before you step into his promise. Come on, vision, you've got to be able to see. You've got to be able to see the God-desired future. Come on, somebody. you got to see it. That's vision. He says, see. He says, see, I'm doing a new thing. I'm, somebody say new thing. New thing. He didn't say old thing. Somebody help me out. Somebody say new thing. New thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it you've got to perceive it that means you've got to see it the way it really is it's a new thing it's a new thing tell the person next to you it's a new thing it's a new thing if you don't see it as a new thing how many guys know you can experience the old thing you receive what you perceive yeah i'll preach it so good right now the woman at the well said i perceive jesus as a, as a prophet i perceive as right she received the prophet's reward Oh, make me go preaching on you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Do you perceive it? Do you perceive it? How many of y'all perceive it? Amen. If you perceive it, you will receive it. Come on. Come on. That's why people love me. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just mingle just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's why. How many of you guys know if you perceive me as a pastor, you'll receive the pastor's reward? Amen. Yeah. But if you only see me as Paul, I'm going to leave that alone. But anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's continue. He says, now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? It's a question. He says, I am making a way in the wilderness and the streams in the wasteland. How many guys know our God is a way maker? Yes. He's, he's made a way. He's already made it. Tell the person that he's already made a way. He's already made a way. He's already made the way. All you got to do is how many guys know is see it, perceive it, believe it, and you will receive it. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Come on, somebody. He's already made the way. He's already made the way. So real quickly, one more time, somebody say, new thing. New thing. God's doing a new thing, a new thing, a new thing. And so once again, once again, we've got to have some vision. We've got to have some sight for the new thing God wants to do in and through uh, this church and in and through your life. So let's talk about the new things God has in store for Rescue Church in 2019. This is going to be amazing. Can I take a moment and just ponder and pause. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Selah. Amen. When the Bible says Selah, when you say that word, it just means to pause and ponder and be in awe of God's goodness. Yes. I got, before I get into this, because this is just, wow. I'm just, God is so good. Man, tell the person next to you, God is good. God is good. Now, I'm going to get into some stuff. I'm going to get into some stuff. Now, now before, before I, I, I start talking about this, Quickly, I've got to share this. Quickly, I've got to say this. I, w I want to preface by saying this. Hear my heart. Hear my heart. Allow me to finish this out because if you just catch the first few sentences, you might go, huh? But listen, you got to let me finish it. If you, if you allow me to finish it and give you all the ingredients, how many guys know it's, it's going it's to make an awesome meal? Okay, okay, it's going to make good. an awesome yes. meal. Yes, you're, 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 ma you, 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 you're making a cake. That's right. Don't eat just the baking soda and taste it and go, this nasty. That's right. That's Don't just right. taste the salt. Don't just eat a mouthful of flour. That's right. Wait till it's all mixed together, please. Amen. Amen. It baked in the oven. Come on. You start on. smelling good after a while. Woo. And then it comes out nice and warm. You throw some nice warm something on top of it and eat it. I'm making everybody hungry. And you yeah. go, man, that's good. Come on. Remember your fasting. Amen. Amen. Just remember that fast. Wait Stay two in. weeks for that. Come on, come on. Listen, mm -hmm. 
But know that, that the ingredients, uh, they, they have to come together. That's what he's saying. Let him finish it out and then savor the flavor. That's right. So, so I, may, I might even follow what's on here, but I'm, I'm just going to share my heart. So hear my heart on this. Everybody say, I'm ready to hear your heart, Pastor. I'm ready to hear your heart, Pastor. Okay, so hear this out. Here's first, I'm going to start with this. Now, this is in, um, in this annual report. If you look in, you're going to see a page in there where it says uh, uh, plans and goals for 2019. And so that's, I'm, going, I'm talking about that. That's what I'm talking about right here. And I'm going to start with First Wednesdays. I'm going to start there, and this is where you have to hear me out. First Wednesdays. One of the new things we're going to do here, we're going to do this, is we're going to start something called First Wednesdays. Uh, First Wednesdays, what this is going to be, um, y'all can put that on the screen. Thank you, First Wednesdays. Uh, the first thing I want to share is we're going to do First Wednesdays. First Wednesdays is not about doing less. It's about doing more. Better, I'm going to say this differently. It's about doing more ministry, not less ministry. Okay, that's what First Wednesdays is all about. Now, this is something I've, I've been in prayer about for a long time. I've been in prayer about this probably about two and a half, three years. And I believe this is the year we're going to start this. We're going to go to First Wednesdays. That means man up, real, little feet, nursery, and impact kids will go to First Wednesdays. We're going to have services on those nights. 24-7 youth will remain the same. Nothing changes there. 24-7 youth, Wednesday night is their night. It's the night of youth. When Becky and I were youth pastors, we did um, youth on Wednesday nights. The youth, let's be, they will get there. Most of the teens that come anyways, let's be, find rides, get rides. It is. It actually is going to give us an opportunity, Becky and I, to put some attention on youth to help take youth up. Amen. Can I get an amen? And it helps, it helps, it helps. I have, when I'm, I'm constantly busy on Wednesdays, let's be, I can't, I can't really, I, it's hard for me to help Chris Atisa in that area. But now this frees us up and allows us to, to, to change out speakers. So we'll be changing out speakers and also allows Becky and I to help out with youth. So youth will go up automatically simply by us going to First Wednesdays. Can y'all give the Lord a hand on that? Can I get an amen? Amen. And so uh, where's Brian at real quickly? Or be, be. I don't know if it's on. Can we put on the screen? When's the start date on that? I don't know. It might be too late for that. But listen, me. I want to. I want to share this with with you too. Remember, remember, remember what I shared at the beginning. Oh, it's there. Okay. Launch date will be February the sixth. Launch date will be February the sixth. February the sixth. We will be going starting next month. We will be going to first Wednesdays. First Wednesdays. Remember now. First Wednesdays is not about doing less ministry. It's about doing what? more ministry. Let me show you. Here we go. Why? How is that, Pastor? How is that? No, we're going to add, here we go, we're going to add a second service on Sundays. We're going to two services on Sundays. We're going to go to two services on Sundays. And so two services on Sunday, that's already doing more, that's not doing less. By us being able to help youth out, that's already doing more, not doing less. And so, listen to me, uh, we have, you got to hear my heart on this, we do have a late crowd. So we're going to go to two services and we're going to, listen to me, we're going to have a 10 o'clock service and we're going to have a 12 o'clock service. For some of y'all going 12 is late, for some of y'all going thank you Jesus, amen. I know, we have two, I'm telling you, we got the dynamics are just uh, really unique here. Let me leave it at that, amen. And so I know some people are going to love the 10, some people are going to love the 12, but we're, we're doing more, we're not doing less. Everybody say more. More. We're doing more, not doing less. So we're adding two services on Sundays. The times will be 10 and 12. Everybody say 10 and 12. 10 and 12. 10 and 12. This will launch February the 10th. February the 10th. Y'all give the Lord a hand. Come on, somebody. Now we want it. We want, this is one way. This is one way we can expand our reach. This is the way we're going to expand our reach by adding two services on Sundays. And so um, I want you guys to know it may feel a little light at first because you're splitting what you have in the room, but over time, how many guys know that will grow? It allows room for growth. It does. It allows room for growth. And listen, if you, if you want God to send the rain, you've got to prepare for it. Come on, somebody, help me out. Amen. Do I got some new wine skins in this room? Come on, amen. Come on. We got to pour some new wine. Amen. Amen. And so we're preparing for rain. Come on, somebody. Amen. And so remember, we're doing more, not doing less. Everybody say more. More. 
How are we doing more, Pastor? Not only are we adding two services on Sundays, we're going to add, we're going to make something available to you called Right Now Media. It's called Right Now Media. Y'all can go ahead and shout. Come on, come on. I know some of y'all are saying, I want to shout when I know what that is. You're about to find out what that is. We're going to add something called Right Now Media. This is something the church, the church is paying for, but you're going to get free access. Free access. This is basically, the best way I can put this, this is a uh, the Netflix for uh, spiritual growth. This is the Netflix, I'm telling you, this is the Netflix for Christian um, Bible studies, uh, leadership, marriage conferences, kid uh, shows, I mean, everything you need, you have access to a library of over 10,000 videos, over 10,000 videos, and you guys here, y'all go ahead and shout, now y'all, y'all finding out a little bit more about what this is, I'm out, I mean, there, there are a, a dynamic range of speakers in here, honestly, I've gone in there and I've customized most of it, um, we also, you'll see Rescue Church in there with our own recommendations that are in there to help you grow spiritually. You guys hear me say this all the time, that listen to me, church isn't just on Sundays and Wednesdays. That's right. Church is 24-7. Amen. Somebody say 24-7. 24-7. Yeah, y'all can say it like Chris if y'all want 24-7. I mean, he says that. Amen. But, but listen to me, church is 24-7. Now listen to me. We're, we're paying for it. You get free access. There's no excuse for you to say on Wednesday night, what do I do? Now you got something to do. We're doing more, not doing less. We're doing more, not doing less. Listen to me, you have access, listen to me, to Bible studies, conferences. Guys, I mean, you're telling things that would cost, most of y'all say, I couldn't afford, now you're getting it free. All you, listen to me, we're going to email you a link if we have you in our database. If not, you go to our website. When you go to our website, you click Right Now Media. Boom, you log in, you create your password, and you're in 24-7. 24-7. To give you a little more insight on what this is about, we got a short video we want to show you. Y'all go ahead and play the video. Our church is a light in the darkness, a city on a hill. Every believer is called to make a difference in the world to love God completely, and to make disciples of every nation. But in this busy, mobile, noisy world, it can be difficult to even do the basics, to pray, to read the Word, to bring the love of God to our marriages, families, neighbors, and co-workers. We know you're here because you want to be a part of God's mission on the earth. You want to experience the abundant life that Scripture talks about. You're looking to connect your faith to every part of your life every day of the week. That's why our church is subscribing to Right Now Media and making it available for free to every member of our church. You'll have access to over 10,000 online Bible study videos on parenting, marriage, finance, discipleship, leadership, and many more. The videos can be used in Bible study groups or for personal devotion. There's also a huge library of safe biblical kids videos. We'd love to see every member of our church utilizing Right Now Media. Small group leaders leading their adult or youth groups through engaging Bible study series. Children enjoying safe programming that doesn't just entertain, but helps lay a strong spiritual foundation. Families spending quality time together, going through devotional Bible studies. Couples using biblical studies on marriage, parenting, and finance. Applying God's Word to every area of their lives. There is something for everyone. We want to help you grow as a disciple of Christ, and we want to help you become a disciple maker in your home, your school, your workplace, your neighborhood, in whatever mission field God has called you to. We believe that this free resource will help equip and unleash you to live out your faith in every area of life, to experience God-centered, abundant life, not just on Sundays, but every day. We are for you, and God is for you. He wants to empower you every day to live for Him. Together, we can be a light in the darkness, a city on a hill. Yeah, how many y'all excited about that? Come on, amen. I mean, this is 24 acts, 24-hour access. I'm telling you guys, and we're constantly, how many guys know this is going to help us grow spiritually? One of the things that God put on my heart was accelerating our spiritual growth. Well, listen to me, time is short, guys. 
Time is short. Time is short. But God wants to accelerate some things in our lives so we can reach more people for Jesus. Yes. Can I get an amen? And listen to me. It's time to grow up. Tell the person next to you, it's time to grow it's up. time to grow up. What I've done is this to me. I've just made this to me. I've just cut out all the excuses. I've cut out every excuse you can think of. Every excuse. Why I can't come to church or why I can't do it. Listen to me. You have, you have access to it 24-7. Good stuff in there, man. Christine Kane's in there. There's good stuff. Craig Grishel's in there. There's Bible studies. The marriage stuff is phenomenal in there. Some of y'all want to strengthen your marriage. And I encourage you. Some of y'all say, I've been wanting to just do something with my kids. You got Veggie Tales. Come on. Veggie Tales rocks. Come on, somebody. Amen. And it's all free. Tell the person next to you it's free. Free. This is an amazing tool, guys. An amazing tool to help us accelerate our spiritual growth. Amen. Amen. So we're doing more, not less. Amen. Tell the person next to you, we're doing more. We're doing more. How are we doing more? I'm not done yet. We're going to do something else new. This is another new thing God's doing. We're going to do something called Leadership University. Woo! We're going to start something called Leadership University. Leadership University, listen to me. One of the things God put on my heart for uh, this year was to, to, to spend some time, invest some time developing leaders developing we've got to take our leadership how many of you guys know if we will grow the leadership i'm telling you guys listen to me it will become contagious and how many of you guys know when we when we grow in the area of leadership how many of you guys know everything else runs better yes amen everything rises and falls on leadership it seems nobody's going to follow if there's nobody leading right can i get an amen and so we want to develop great leaders men who can lead in their home I said, men who can lead in their own. Ladies, y'all should have shouted on that right there. Men, somebody say, man up. man up. Men who can lead in their home. We want to create uh, children that know how to lead and not follow in their schools. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? But listen, to me, we're the ones that have got to teach them that. So we're going to start something called Leadership University. Now, this is going to be only for ages 18 and up. This is going to be for 18, uh, 18 and older. And... The times on this, we're going to do these. This is going to be an hour. This is going to be an hour, an hour and fifteen minute class. It's going to be on the fourth Sunday of each month in the man up room. There will be uh, I will be the primary uh, teacher and speaker in that, but I am going to rotate people. There's going to be other speakers that will come in to teach on leadership. There is a registration fee on this because I want you to value it. I said there is a registration fee on this because I want you to value it. The registration fee will be a hundred dollars, but this includes your books. As it comes with the books. Um, the registration will begin today in the foyer at the table. If you want to register, you can go. Uh, there'll be a table out there in the foyer. If you want to register, why? You say, why, Pastor? Because uh, because there's, I'm only going to allow the class to have, there's only going to be 24 people in this class. Because I, I, don't, I don't want it to exceed 24 because I really want to be able to give the majority of my attention and, and to, to as many people as I can. And 24 is about it. Can I get an Amen. And so, listen to me, the deadline for this will be February, the, to register will be February 17th. And the cool thing is the students will receive a certificate upon completion. You will get a certificate upon completion. And this is going to help us, help us develop, I believe, um, the leaders we already have, but also develop new leaders for the future. Can I get an amen? And the kickoff is February the 24th. That's right. It, it is when the class begins, February the 24th. Amen. Amen. So I'm, I'm, I want to talk more on that, but I'm going to stop there because I'm looking at the time because we have another thing that we're just we're about to do. I'm so excited about. How many guys are excited about what God's doing already? Can I get an amen? I'm just excited about what God is doing already. Let me let me just share this with you. Listen to me. Um, this is just uh, touching. I get a little emotional uh, because everybody say we're doing more. We're doing more doing more we're doing more ministry not less ministry we're going to put most of our energies into the weekends we're doing more ministry we're adding a second service we're giving you right now media we're going to start leadership university and we're about to start another uh, ministry that is uh, going to uh, be another branch uh, of ministry out of the rescue center that I'm super excited about it's called embrace grace it is a powerful, powerful thing that God is listening to me starting here at Rescue Church. And I want you guys to do something. Listen, oh, Chris, I want you to help Shannon up. And I want you guys to watch this video and get your tissue box out. But I want y'all to watch this video. And this will give you some insight to what Embrace Grace is all about. Go ahead and roll the video.
When I first found out I was pregnant, I felt so shocked. Um, I felt, you know, after realizing that I was pregnant, I felt worthless. I was terrified. I, I didn't even really believe it at first. When I looked at the test, it said a big yes, and I said, okay, yes, I'm not pregnant. Like, I was like, there's no way. Um, when I first found out I was pregnant, it was actually kind of like, in that moment, I knew that God was real. I remember being paralyzed in fear, and like uh, my life was just completely spinning out of control, uh, worse than it ever had been in my entire life. I was just afraid for the reputation of my family and what was gonna happen to that, if it was gonna tear my family apart or if it, it was gonna bring us closer together. Growing up in church my whole life, I was kind of stuck there. <laughs> like I was just used to going to church and used to being around everyone that was so kind of uplifting and encouraging. But when you find yourself in a situation that is against everything those people believe, it's kind of hard to think that they'll, they'll accept you still. I, like I, I went to Catholic school my whole life, but I hadn't been to church since I moved here. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be weird. And then I went that night and y'all were just like, hey, I was like, oh. I was still kind of scared. It was a little intimidating walking into a room full of pregnant women. <laughs> But, you know, it was pretty awesome. I wasn't really expecting what I got in return. Churches always seemed like you had to be so perfect and you had to be so good. And um, I knew I wasn't good enough for church, maybe. I felt wrong that I would want to be in church where other people are married and they have kids through marriage and they're in love and they're happy and I just didn't feel like I fit in that scene. Um, but um, it was so much better afterwards, you know, after stepping in Embrace Grace, um, it was amazing. It just felt so right. Being a pastor's daughter, I felt more ashamed and I felt more in the public eye, I guess, or maybe like I was living in more of a fishbowl than other people were that were going through the same thing as I was. And I was afraid that people were gonna leave my dad's church and that they were gonna, the whole church was just basically gonna crumble because of what I had done. I think the biggest thing it did for me was gave me myself back, but the best version of myself that I could be. I. I wouldn't be the person I am right now without Embrace Grace and going through everything that I went through with these girls and these leaders to stand by my side through it all. I was, and I still am very quiet, but I was a very quiet, not confident person just in my shell and I liked it that way. But now it's kind of crazy. You would think maybe with two kids you might be a little like apprehensive of the world, but I'm so confident in who I am and who God has created me to be, and that's all because of Embrace Grace. It definitely changed my life because it helped me see um, like the value in myself and the value in my decision um, to keep Clay, and it helped me um, like grow closer to the Lord throughout my pregnancy to where I'd be prepared when I you know, had Clay to be like a godly woman and a good example for him. Before Embrace Grace, I thought about all the negative. I thought about how I had failed my daughter because I couldn't give her the father that she deserved. I felt like I was just um, a disgrace to God because I had a child out of wedlock. I, um, I just felt like I had disappointed a lot of people. But with Embrace Grace, it helped me realize that Brooklyn, no matter what, Brooklyn is a blessing. Um, and regardless of whether or not her real father is there for her. The only father that she needs is God. And I never I never ever thought about that until I joined Embrace Grace. One thing the leaders would tell me every Monday night and even constantly through the week is, you're gonna be a great mom. And that's something that I didn't think that I would ever be. Embrace Grace saved my life. It gave me the courage to keep my baby and that I could be a good mom. Sorry. It just changed me forever. I didn't think I could raise my son on my own and I can. I'm really thankful for Embrace Grace.
Isn't God good? Come on, somebody. And this is, this is our opportunity. This is our opportunity. We are so blessed as a body of believers. We're so blessed as a church to be able to, to birth this new ministry called Embrace Grace. And this is something that will be run through the Rescue Center. And it's something that Shannon will be overseeing. And so uh, we have found out, you know, one of the things I share with Shannon is that I don't, I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Though I, I don't, if, if somebody's doing something well, I don't want to um, try to recreate what they're doing. I'd rather just partner with them and help them continue to do what they're doing better. But that's all what I want to do is just find out where there's a need. Where is there a need that nobody's meeting? Where's there a need in this in this church? I mean, in this in this city and surrounding cities that this church can be a blessing. And, and one of the things we found out was there 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 are a lot of teens out there that that need to be reached out to, and they need to know there is grace. And if they embrace that grace, how many guys know that is Jesus? That this ministry really literally saves lives for the mom and the child. And we have found that there is a great need for this in, in this area and in surrounding areas. And so um, through, through some prayer and some decision making, we decided to birth this this year in 2019. And we already have one girl, one girl that's already signed up for this. And so I'm going to let Shannon take over from here and talk more about how, how Brace Grace works. Share that with us. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited, y'all. Uh, I've seen that commercial like... 10 times and I still cry. I still cry. I mean, who wouldn't, right? It's just so touching. So I want to just uh, tell you a little bit about Embrace Grace. It was founded by Amy Ford in Dallas, Texas at Gateway Church. And she had a, God gave her a vision to start it um, in 2008. And since then, God, he really has breathed on this ministry. And since 2008, they, they have now reached, they have 544 groups in 46 states and in eight countries. Amen. And we get to launch it here in Wharton. How awesome is that? Amen. Praise God. Y'all, that is so God. That is so God. Embrace Grace is, is, it's to, to give spiritual help. It's to give spiritual support, physical support, emotional support uh, to that single mom, that single girl who had an unintended pregnancy, unexpected, unplanned. It's not to uh, create shame or guilt or point out anybody's sin. I think they know that, right? We're not, we're not in the business of, of pointing out people's sin, but we are in the business of being the hands and feet of Jesus yes, and showing love. Yes. And that's exactly what Embrace Grace does, is embrace the Father's grace. Amen. Embrace His love. And, and the goal is to equip us as the church, to empower us, to equip us with the tools necessary to love on them, to hear them out, to give them the, the, the tools that they need to know who their identity is in Christ, who they are. Transformation occurs. Amen. Breaking chains occurs. We heard about that this Amen. morning. Amen. It, I mean, they, it is complete renovation of the soul. Woo. I am so excited to, to be able to bring Embrace Grace here. I want to give you guys a few statistics so this really st- hits home. Four out of ten women who attend church regularly have had an abortion. That's 40%. 64% of those women who had an abortion feel that the church was more likely to gossip about their pregnancy rather than help. Not at Rescue Church. That's right. Woo! Come on. Amen. Not at Rescue Church. We want you to know that the Embrace Grace is to equip, equip us, equip us to show love, equip us to restore. And so it's a 12-week program. So let me tell you what it is now that I've been set the backstory, backstory for you. It's a 12-week program, small group for them, that will launch on February the 10th on Sundays from 2 to 4 p.m. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come so on. we're doing more and not less. Amen. Amen. We're doing more. We are expanding our reach. We're expanding our reach. How are we expanding our reach? We have partnered with, uh, if y'all don't know this, the Wharton doesn't have a pregnancy center. They have no resources for, for pregnant women who, um, 
who, who don't have support. Um, and so we've partnered with the Pregnancy Resource Center in Matagorda County, which is in Bay City. Amen. Amen. And we've partnered with the high school counselors in our area. And what we've been able to do is provide them with love boxes. And I have some examples here. I put the crown in one of those tissue papers. I think it's in there. And so you can see the photo, see the picture. Everything comes packaged in a box. And the things that are in there are a best gift ever onesie, a brave girl letter, handwritten by someone who has prayed over that box, packaged that box to let them know that they are not alone. To be encouraged. They get a journal with a clean slate. They get, amen, they get a a book called The Bump in Life written by Amy Ford that's full of testimonies of girls who have gone through what they're walking through so that they can know somebody else has done this before me. I got to show them while she's, keep talking. Amen. So they get all of this. It's free. Embrace Grace gives it to the pregnancy centers and to the counselors for free. When they encounter a single pregnant girl, they're able to say, here you go. I don't know what, what decision you might be trying to make here, but let me give you this. And the goal of the love box is to be pro-love to be pro-love, that they would choose life. Amen? Amen. That they would choose life. And regardless of whether or not they choose to have um, an adoption or they choose to carry their baby and keep it, and they can still attend Embrace Grace. Amen? They can still attend Embrace Grace. Amen. A Bump in Life. That is a powerful book um, that it will just, tissue box is required with reading. So once they receive this, they, it, it, they also have information in there on how to join a group, how to get connected to Embrace Grace, and it will point them to us as being the closest group um, to them in this, in this city and county. When they attend Embrace Grace, they'll get the Embrace Grace work, Embrace by Grace workbook. get a princess tiara crown that signifies that they are daughters of a king they're a princess and they get crowned on a special event night that's where uh, we actually have a formal dinner and they have dinner with the king they get crowned the princess and then they get a chain bracelet as well in that chain bracelet it says embrace grace on a heart and they'll get that on Breaking Chains night. Amen? So if that's not powerful. And all of this is free to them. It's free. It's free. Which is amazing. Are y'all stunned? I'm telling you. Because y'all are like so quiet. And I want to like jump off the stage. Are y'all hearing this? I do. I, 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 in, in the book alone, just the title of Bump in Life, if we could just capture that. I always tell Becky whenever something goes wrong, I said, it's just a bump. It's just a bump. You don't turn bumps into mountains. Yeah. It's a bump. People do that. God doesn't. Yeah. People do that. God doesn't. And so listen to me, it's a bump in life. It happened. But God is in the restoration business. God wants to restore some things in your life. God can take, listen to me, what the enemy meant for bad and even our own mistakes. God just has a way of turning it into something good. Amen. And so, listen to me, that's what this ministry is all about, embracing the grace. And it's going to save the mom and the baby because they don't have to to throw that baby away. That's a life. They can, they can hang on to that baby, whether it's we help them, you know, whether for adoption or whether it's to help them know that, you know what, you can, you can keep your baby. You can do this thing. You know, they, they get told they're brave. They're, they're, I'm going to let you sh- keep sharing. Tell them everything. <laughs> you're, you're good. So they'll do the 12 week, the 12 week course, but in those 12 weeks or uh, 12 sessions, we'll also do three main events. One is testimonies, testimony night with Liberation and Breaking Chains Night. 
where they'll get the bracelet. Amen. 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 Two is a baby shower. We're going to throw them a baby shower. Amen. 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 And three is the special event night where we close this entire program out with dinner with the king. Amen. Amen. I'm just excited. I am so excited about the restoration that God is going to do. Yes. I'm, I mean, I'm beside myself. And I want you to know that after service today, there's what can you do? Y'all are all sitting here going, what can we do? What can we do? You can pray. Stand in the gap. Intercede for us. Pray for leaders. Pray for the girls who are anticipating joining. And maybe, maybe they're scared. Pray for peace. Amen. There, uh, out uh, after service, there will be a table set up in the foyer. You can pick up, join a group flyers and pass those out. There's going to be tons of information that you can take with you to maybe you know someone already that you're thinking in your mind, this would be fantastic for. Take some information and take it back to them. Amen. Amen. Be a voice. Um, after service as well, there's going to be a, a, a Facebook page de designated strictly to Embrace Grace Group here at Wharton, Texas. Like it, share it. The girls will also be able to, um, to sign up through that link as well. And the other thing I didn't touch on is I know we're talking about it like these ladies are teens and they're girls. But this can be any That's age right. range. That's right. This can be any age range. This could be the 30-year-old, the girl at college, the 40-year-old. Amen. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Age, there is no limit on what God can do. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Amen. And, and one other thing, it, isn't this just a powerful thing? Come on, y'all got to give more. It's powerful. Remember, I shared with you guys, we're doing more, we're not doing less. And I told you, there's so much to talk about. We're already, we're already out of time. And this is a fast version. I'm telling you guys, a quick version yes. because there's so many more details to everything that God is doing. But can y'all see how we're doing more, we're not doing less? I didn't get very many emails saying, can y'all see how we're doing more? Yeah. We're not doing less. We're doing more. We're doing more. And one or the other, we're not through yet. We're still, we're still in the fall. We're still going to do something. We're going to do something called Raising Kingdom Kids. <laughs> and we're not through. We're going to start something called Raising Kingdom Kids. This is to help you parents, to help you, help you. Uh, I love you, but I'm telling you, if there's ever a time in the church where we need to teach parents, how to raise kingdom kids, it's now. But listen, we, we, a lot of people complain about it and do nothing. I want to pray about it and do something. And I prayed and God has, has shown us this tool that we can use. And so this is something we'll be starting in the fall. In the fall for some of you guys who need some help in parenting and say, I want to, I want to do this. I want to raise my uh, kingdom kids. And this, this will also be another, I can't remember how many sessions it is. Do you remember? It's six sessions. It's six sessions. It's six sessions. And so this will help another tool that's going to help us accelerate our growth. Amen. 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 Can y'all see how we're doing more? We're not doing less? All right, man, that's weak. Come on, y'all. Can y'all see how we're doing more? And we're not doing less. We're doing so much more, so much more. God, I'm telling you, we're doing so much more. Now, we're out of time, so, but uh, we're going to have to stop here. Um, hopefully, we've given you guys enough details, but listen to me. You guys want more information? Shannon's going to be out there. She already has a startup team for Embrace Grace. They're out there to answer any questions you have. Uh, we'll have another table set out there if you have questions about Leadership University. If you want to register for that, also um, this week, this week starting tomorrow, um, you'll be able to go to our website. Also, we'll be sending out links for Right Now Media to help everybody out. Now, now let's y'all go ahead and give the Lord a hand. Come on, somebody. And remember, after Super Bowl weekend, we're going to go to two services. Everybody say 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Y'all remember that. Nobody, I know some of y'all getting like we're getting ready to roll. I know we're out of time, but let me do one more thing. Can we do at least at least two more things? Can y'all allow me to do that? Listen to me. One, one, one more thing I want to do is, is just real quick. Listen to me. One of the things we, we started, we started doing something called uh, the Volunteer of the Year Award. And so I want y'all to give us an opportunity to announce who the volunteer of uh, the year is uh, for 2018. Can y'all can y'all give us that opportunity to do that? Amen. And so Brian, can y'all bring that bring that up up real quick? Y'all give Shannon a hand. Thank you so much for that. Be powerful. And so what we want to do is we want to announce this person. Come on up here, honey. 
And the uh, Volunteer of the Year Award goes to, I love this heart. Don't y'all love this heart? Ryan's like, the name's on the front. So I'm like, let's do like that. The Volunteer of the Year Award goes to Leticia Alvarez. Come on, Julie. Get over here. Y'all give her a hand. Come on. 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 You stand over here in the middle. Come on. This is our Volunteer of the Year Award. This is yours. You get that. And you get, uh, I think it's $150. It's yours right there to use as you want. But I, I, I want I want y'all to know something real quick. I want y'all to know something. I'm, I'm going to be, this pastor being totally transparent once again. I'll be honest with you, this year it was, it was challenging because there were so many people that was like, wow. But I do want to say something, and that's a good thing. It's a good thing. That's a good thing when you have that many people. Like, who, who do we pick out of these three? It's like, wow. But I do want to say something. Letitia, there's a lot of sacrifice that has been made. I know by her and her family, and I, I, one of the things that's always going to pull on my heartstrings is, is where, listen to me, where there's great sacrifice, I believe there's always great reward. Amen. And listen to me, there's been great sacrifice, I know, I know for her, and uh, from the minute, you know, this all started, and so I, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, we appreciate that, we appreciate you, and you have been an awesome, awesome, listen to me, example, and uh, a volunteer for us in 2018. I know, listen to me, and the best is still yet to come. Amen. Y'all give her a hand. Amen. We love you, sweetie. Speech! I'm teasing. You want to say anything? Okay. She said I'll stick to singing. Oh, excuse me. Amen. She's Amen. actually saying, how am I going to sing now? No, God is Amen. so good, y'all. Amen. 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 We love you. Y'all give her another hand. We love you, sweetie. Amen. Amen. And be- before okay. we close, yeah, honey, you, give me yeah. an invitation. Okay, yeah. so I just want to know something. Are y'all excited? We're gearing so much toward the weekend, but there's so much happening in our weekends. You know, there's so much happening. There's two services happening in our weekends. There's Leadership University happening in our weekends. There's Embrace Grace happening in our weekends. And I'm going to keep talking until y'all get as excited as I do. Come on now. We have to get excited about what God's doing. That we're not staying the same. That God's given us vision. That God wants to do some new things in our lives and in the lives of the people that we can influence. The people around us. We don't stay status quo. Listen, if last year the most excited you got was, hey, this year make it, hey, hey. Do something different. Come on. Get excited. God's doing some great things. Get excited. God's doing some great things. Come on. He is good. He's going to save some children that otherwise wouldn't be here. Some children that are here for a purpose. He's going to save some moms that are hopeless. He's going to give hope to the hopeless. Amen. He's going to breathe new life into us. So that's something to get excited about. He's going to make us some great influencers for the kingdom in Leadership University. That I'm not the, I'm not going through the same motions. I'm not satisfied with status quo. I want to make a difference in this world. Jesus is coming back. Woo! We got some stuff to do. Come on now. In our little dot of a town, we've got some stuff to do. There's people in other countries. Listen, don't let them get more excited about Rescue Church than you are. You're here. There's a pastor in India. And if you're watching online, we love you. That he can't wait to be here. He wants to be here worshiping with us. You are here. Get excited about that. Listen, we've been talking this morning about new new ministries, new things that God wants to birth. But listen, the main thing that God wants to do new is a new thing in us. It's a new thing in us. If you've got Jesus, God still wants to do a new thing. He wants to take you to the next level. He's not satisfied with where you are because He knows there's so much more. He wants to take you further. But then if you're in here and you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, listen, God wants to give you new life. 
He wants to give you a new beginning, a clean, fresh slate where you start over today. If you're in this room and you don't have a full-on relationship with Jesus, let today be that day. Make a decision and don't look back. Yes. Amen? If With every head bowed and every eye closed, I'm going to ask, if you're in this room and you say, you know what, I just need a relationship with Jesus. I need a relationship with that man that you say can give me hope, can make things new, everything new. If that's you, lift your hand right where you are. Just lift your hand very quickly. I want to pray for you and with you. Don't be shy. Everybody that's a Christian has done what I'm asking you to do. I see your hand. I see your hand. Anybody else, I see your hand. That you say, I want to live full on for Jesus. I see your hand. Come on, I see your hand. I see your hand. I see your hand. I see your hand over here. God sees your hand. God wants to make a difference in your life. I see your hand in the back. I see your hand over there. I see your hand. Those of you who lifted your hand, and everybody in here in this room, repeat after me. But those of you who lifted your hand, I want you to believe this with all your heart. You're praying to Jesus. Say, Dear Lord, today I open my heart to you. Come and do a new thing in me. I give you my all. Today, I thank you for your love, your grace, and your forgiveness. I receive it now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that I'm heaven bound and I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all give the Lord a